Putin's regime and its leader are causing increasing discontent among Russians who are beginning to actively and even publicly ask uncomfortable questions of the head of the Kremlin and demand his resignation. A video has appeared on social networks in which a man is outraged by the results of the so-called special operation, which instead of a few days stretched out into two and a half years of fierce fighting. Moreover, the goals declared by Moscow have not only not been achieved, but are also unlikely to be achieved at all. Vladimir Vladimirovich, in February 2022, your controlled media said that this operation would be over in three days. Excuse me, but it has been going on for three years already, the Russian says in the video. In addition, he accused Putin of treason and demanded his resignation since dozens and hundreds of factories in Russia have gone bankrupt and Russians are living worse and worse. The truth is obvious to everyone, which every Russian sees and understands, but speaking it out loud in Russia is literally life-threatening. People comment on the video on social networks. Putin likes to project himself as a strongman, but his track record of handling recent crises in Russia reveals a different side of his presidential persona, one of paralysis and indecision. A day and a half after Ukrainian troops stormed a Russian border crossing and continued almost unimpeded across the wide green fields of the southern Kursk region, Putin finally made his first public remarks on the matter. He called the incursion a massive provocation, accused Ukraine of indiscriminately firing on civilians, and then moved on quickly to other government business, including how to mark Russia's construction Workers' Day. It would take another five days and the loss of nearly 30 settlements before he promised a military response. There was no visit to the region to meet the tens of thousands of evacuees, no declaration of martial law. Battlefield accounts have backed up the sense that a motley selection of Russian troops were rushed in as Moscow grappled with the dilemma of how to balance defending its own soil with keeping up the slow momentum on the Eastern Front. Ukrainian officials said some troops were redeployed from the Kharkiv region and the Southern Front. Chechen leader Ramzan Kadyrov claimed early on that his special forces unit, the Akhmat Brigade, had been deployed. Naval infantry officers from the Black Sea Fleet in Crimea are also involved. Experts agree the Kursk incursion has not fundamentally changed Putin's overarching strategy of attrition to exhaust Ukraine and try to outlast its allies. And yet, Ukraine's surprise move has emboldened those who had previously questioned the West's policy of limiting certain types of military aid and their use inside Russia. The operational staff of Russia's Belgorod Oblast has taken the decision to move the residents of several villages out of the area. Belgorod Oblast Governor Vyacheslav Gladkov has reported that many people have been injured and some killed in the border areas. A decision has been made to resettle the residents of the villages of Poraz and Dranovka in the Graveronsky district, and the village of Steri Kuder and the settlement of Pavlovka in the Valuyevsky district. The entrance to the village of Vyazovoy in the Krasnoyarusky district has been closed. Checkpoints are being set up and it will only be possible to enter this settlement with permission from the administration. Unfortunately, the situation remains tense, many people have been injured and some killed. We must take measures to protect the population. The official statements issued by the Russian authorities make no mention of combat action. Gladkov said schools located in a 20km zone in the border municipalities of Belgorod Oblast would operate remotely. Earlier. He claimed that the situation at the border with Ukraine remains challenging but under control, and that Russian troops were conducting scheduled operations. 35 settlements are said to be close to entry due to the operational situation. Recent events in Russia's Belgorod region have drawn a lot of attention due to the escalating military activity and rising tensions from the ongoing conflict with Ukraine. This area, situated close to the Russia-Ukraine border, has become a hotspot for intense military actions with serious consequences for both military personnel and civilians. Military incidents in the Belgorod region have surged, especially after Ukrainian forces ramped up their operations in the area. This uptick followed a significant push by Ukrainian troops into the nearby Kursk region, marking one of the largest cross-border operations since the conflict began. 
Ukrainian forces reportedly advanced into Russian territory, capturing several settlements along the way. The Belgorod region has been frequently targeted, facing drone strikes and missile attacks that have resulted in numerous civilian casualties. These assaults prompted the regional governor, Vyacheslav Gladkov, to declare a state of emergency, as the humanitarian situation in the area continues to worsen due to the attacks on civilian infrastructure. Recent reports also mention attempts by Ukrainian forces to breach the border at the Nekotayevka checkpoint. However, these efforts were reportedly repelled by Russian forces. Such incidents highlight the growing tensions and the complex challenge of managing the situation along the border. The ongoing conflict has had a profound impact on the daily lives of people in Belgorod and other affected areas. The city is now accustomed to frequent air raid sirens, and attacks on civilian targets are a common occurrence.